Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Teodora Dyer. I am a spiritual medium and intuitive reader. I have a message for Sagittarius. And um, I have asked my guides and spirit for a message through the cards that will be deeply meaningful and helpful for you this week as you navigate your spiritual journey. Um, I invite you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. It really helps to keep you in touch with consistent, high vibration information that can help you each week as you navigate. And uh, I invite you to like and comment. I always love to hear your comments. It really helps to promote the positive energy flow between us. So um, let's get straight to your reading. I'm personally having a hard time because, you know, I love to tell you just beautiful rosy messages and it ends up there, but it doesn't necessarily start there. So we've got the tower for the energy around you this week. And so I just feel like for some of you, this is going to be like something to do with politics, like another, yet another big political revelation is going to happen. Um, something where corruption is really exposed and things are seen for what they are. And for others of you, it's going to have um, more of an earthly ramification. These are the clarifying cards, King of Pentacles and the Five of um, Five of Cups. So this means a couple things to me, either a father figure losing face. So you finding out maybe a truth about your father figure that you didn't know before and kind of that whole image has to change. It could also mean a financial loss, but I'm not really getting the feeling for that. So let's just leave that alone and talk about how things that you thought they were the way they were are not the way they are. What's really interesting to me, though, is that you were ready for this. You're the queen of swords. You're like, yep, I saw this coming and I am not surprised at all. And you knew kind of all along what the truth is, it was. It's just that the world took maybe a little bit of time to get there. But I want to caution you because these two cards together are the, the energy is almost harmonious. And so this Queen of Swords is liking this tower stuff that's happening, all the chaos that's happening with it. But your advice cards are so different. There's a coldness to these cards, whereas these ones have a warmth and a vitality and a growth. And so I am saying don't get too comfortable in this almost finger pointing energy, like, yeah, I knew it. I knew the truth. I knew what was going on. Um, because there's, it's just a little too one dimensional. It's one sided. Yes, this was big news. Yes, you saw it coming. But there's other things you have to do. There's other ways your light has to be shared with the world. And so let's get straight to that. Is there anything else I need to say about the Queen of Swords? Okay, understand that the Queen of Swords is not emotional in what she does. So be very careful with your words, how you communicate this to other people. So the I told you so is not a good tactic for you this week. Um, this is asking for a bit more finesse, a bit more uh, diplomacy, and a bit more grace is the word they just gave me. So yes, you knew the truth, but be gracious about the way... <laughs> You allow others to see that they that you were right. You know what I'm saying? I avoided saying, <laughs> be gracious and letting other people know they were flat out wrong. That's not the energy that we need to be using this week. We're, we're looking for graciousness and humility and warmth. So we've got a lot of cards over here and let me get them in the order they appeared to me. Okay, here we go. So we've got the sun. The sun crowns all of this. We've got the nine of pentacles. We've got the two of pentacles. We've got the three of cups and we've got the ace of cups. So we get through that kind of darkness that knowing where you were, where you stood in the dark, where you stood with your truth in the dark. And this is now how that comes to light. And basically it's talking about all the places that will embrace your truth if you allow it, if you align yourself with these energies. So on one half, we have big emotional fulfillment. We have the start of a new community happening for you. The start of a new community that is like-minded, like-hearted, thinks like you, supports you. So we've got that on one side. But on the other side, we have the knowledge that, huh, 
<clears throat> it's kind of like your place in the world is being illuminated. And it's not a single-minded place of that Queen of Swords. Let me get her again. The Queen of Swords, who is just very, you know, single-minded. This is my truth. This is the way I'm headed. The Nine here of Pentacles has a lot more flexibility. It's a lot more embracing, a lot more inclusive. And so it's saying that you have such a diversity of riches to bring to this new community. And it's wanting you to really accept and love yourself for those things. That's our, and take joy in it. That's our sun card over here. The sun is so happy with all of these different things that you have to bring. So it's not just your ability to see the truth and it's not just your ability to see the truth coming. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you see things before they happen sometimes and then they come and everyone's like, ah, and you were like, yeah, I, yeah, this is not a surprise to me. But there's so much more you have to offer than just this aspect of yourself. The nine is a number that can harmonize with all other numbers. So you can find something in common with anyone. And so they're asking you to really take that into account and to bring these into your partnerships. The two is sometimes also a partnership that you need to come together with that idea of wanting to belong, wanting to be part, not to divide, but wanting to unify as well as wanting to embrace and understand everyone. So these people that were blindsided by the tower falling and you're not at all, there's part of you that can embrace them and help them. It's like kind of help them come into the fold because they may be shocked by what the tower showed. But because you knew beforehand and because you can relate to them not knowing, you've been that kind of person before. This is about you allowing yourself to embrace them in the state that they are so you can bring them up to a higher consciousness to help that light shine. So this is not about creating more divisions for you, even though you saw the truth. This is about embracing everyone into that fold and understanding that they are where they are. So um, let me see if there's anything else they want me to... Okay, go back to the Two of Pentacles. Okay, and understand that this is a balancing act. The tower was all about tearing everything down, but the Two of Pentacles asks us to look at juggling, to asks us to look at balance, to look at light and dark, up and down. And so sometimes pointing out the truth isn't the whole story because maybe there's a bigger shift going on. Maybe there's a reason why the lie had to be known because maybe the truth wasn't ready to come out. It's just asking you to look at both sides of the situation and not just the one single-minded, that is the truth. So it's asking you for some more sophistication. They're saying the word compassion to me. So it's asking you to really respond to anyone you meet with lots of compassion, no matter where they are, opposite side of the fence, same side of the fence, wherever. So um, I'm asking you if there's anything else I need to let you know. Because this is, a, this is an important week. They want you to celebrate the fact that, yes, you have that ability to see the truth. And yes, you have that sight that is far reaching. But what's bigger celebration, what's a bigger celebration is your ability to embrace and fold everyone exactly where they are into that higher truth, into that higher consciousness, and to bring joy to everyone at every level. So <laughs> you've got questions about that, please reach out below. And I um, wanted to let you know, I have a website, trueguidancetarot.com. I do classes, I do one-on-one -on -one mentoring, as well as one-on-one -on -one readings. So if you're looking to get to the next place on your spiritual journey, I invite you to check out my website, and I will see you next week.